on the blind one. And as soon as he does, look at that! A brand new blind one literally spawns in. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the episode of last day on Earth. Survival Day return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an absolute favorite, fantastic day. Today, amazing news coming our way. We have been raided. I did go ahead and actually repair this thing because I am storing some stuff for the revenge raid because we don't want to go on this revenge raid quite yet. We do not have the C4 necessary. Luckily for us, we are very close. Well, we have enough for a red ticket crate, which gives us a chance at a C4. We are very close to getting enough for a floppy disk which guarantees like 2c4 from my experience so far and so we're gonna be going over to the bunker but while we are there there's this little thing that you guys have been totally telling me to check out for a little while throughout the comments the comments that i love reading as i always do say uh apparently there's a little thing you can do for infinite loot from the blind one and that is exactly what we are going to be doing today and hopefully from that we'll be able to go ahead and cop that floppy disk we're really close to and uh take things from there so as you can see from my inventory i am quite well prepared for uh exactly that and we do have some doggo treats you might be thinking star why the doggo treats also if you guys do take a quick peek we were actually very close this raid barely they broke through two walls and they did not enter this chest that could have been a disaster because we do store some somewhat valuable stuff throughout there so definitely gonna need to make some repairs but let's definitely go ahead and show you guys the bunker code for today if this does not work and by the time y'all do entrant 15622 hopefully someone down in that comment section down below has been super helpful and super awesome and went ahead and uh dropped a little some some to help you guys out with with an updated bunker code because that's just how fan freaking fantastic this community is some of you guys were saying that like i had to repair these to get them to raid uh nah dude these these are just i know these are broken but we, we don't really use them that much but what we are going to be using here is going to be a little bit of the puppy dog action let's just make sure that we are well equipped for what we need we have our three leader dogs we got lexi we are going to go and take on the blind one with our puppy dog and then we shall return potentially bribe these guys as well but uh yeah with that i think lexi is nice and ready to go i'm nice and ready to go there's an oak clearing event as well for us to go ahead and head on over to if we do have some time later on so there's tons and tons of stuff so far now because you're an absolutely fantastic weekend not just a fantastic day i would love to hear in the comment section how this weekend has been treating you whether that is just last day on earth or just in general i'd love to hear how you boys how your girls are all doing and how your dogs i know there's a probably a couple dogs listen like lexi over here is pretty much an internet celebrity for being the coolest true friend in the universe you know so like i respect that you know there's probably a couple dogs watching <laughs> here or there uh but what you call yeah definitely let me know in that comment section down below and remind the comments which are third of the way in sweet 25 dollars slash play store gift card giveaway you gotta do as well as make sure the like button make sure you subscribe that once you win on today's video i can go and enter out every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and zat will be the winner for that week and we'll go ahead and kick off a new weekly giveaway as well after we announce the winners on that saturday it's a boot and uh, it's really early on in this giveaway too so make sure notification bells hit so you don't miss any potential videos for you boys and girls to enter in on and because you already know i try to have as much information oh this true friend loot doesn't respawn damn so that is like a one-time thing it's kind of like a celebratory thing so as soon as you guys get your true friend if and when that does happen head over here and claim yourselves a free minigun that's kind of nice though that there is a hundred percent i got a burp a guaranteed way of getting a minigun right now there's a hundred percent guaranteed way of us getting into the bunker and having a little bit of fun throughout here uh, apologies throughout the week too if uh potentially what you call not as many videos might be going up i'm still gonna try and get two videos out a day last day on earth is safe no worries it's always priority number one er 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 a day am i right or am i right but uh this is midterm week for me coming up and i got three midterms throughout the week which are like just massive tests it's like pretty much one of the four tests we have throughout the year so it counts for a lot of my grade and i need to start work on this end of semester project for one of my programming classes so a lot to struggle a lot to strudel but hey a strudels are dope and b it's okay i guarantee that we will make it through and then when summer is oh boy 
will there be a lot of fun, a lot of games, and hopefully I can figure out the streaming situation back at home. And oh, did they fix this right? Where? Oh yeah, the door's stuck. We can't even send our puppy dog to do it. Let's just go ahead and open up all of these traits. And a quick reminder as well, I'm actually doing a gift card giveaway on the latest Fortnite video that went up as well. So make sure to check it out and check out those rules of entries there. But I'm going to be giving away uh, gift cards in that video for you guys because of this awesome brand new Leviathan skin that came out. I'm not going to go too much into detail in it here because, well, this is the last day on Earth. You guys probably might not care about the Leviathan skin, but pretty much the dopest skin Fortnite has ever seen. I did some gameplay with that. So uh, check out that Fortnite video for sure and uh, enter on in there. Hopefully I can get that last day. Ooh. Well, we got some okay stuff over there. Nothing super crazy or anything like that. Extra med kits. Those will probably uh, come in handy. But uh, definitely make sure that you guys are following my Instagram too. Like I said, I'm going to be doing an awesome last day on our specific Instagram post. Don't want to spoil what it is. Besides the fact that it is extremely dope. But I've just been waiting for good weather, dude. Like it's been starting to get a little bit warmer out. But there's just no good weather. And I want there to be good weather and good lighting. Because uh, when you guys see this thing. <laughs> is going to be dope and probably on the Instagram post since it's last day on earth and well last day on earth is kind of known oh, oh oh is that is that a C4 let's freaking go boys and girls I, I just got so excited I flipped my phone on accident I apologize but uh getting a nice uh, haul out of here as well we'll leave some stuff in here for the time being we will come back for this uh at the end of our bunker run for now though we do need to go over to the blind one and demonstrate this infinite thingy mabob that I've been talking about. But for that to happen, we of course do need to talk to our specialist buddy over here. As you guys can see, we are really close to that floppy disk and hopefully a nice little restock on some C4. Let's activate that hard mode and let's get to going and defeating the blind one. We are going to have to clear out a couple of zombies first, but that should not be too bad. But I'm so excited to show this off, dude, because if we end up doing this right, oh, is going to get filthy, boys. And our dog does a good amount of damage too, although... I think the blind one does take less damage. That is something that we do need to kind of take into account. But again, I think we'll be Gucci. Uh, ooh. Speaking of Gucci, I don't know what the Gucci has to do with this, but we are not Gucci <laughs> in the thirst department. Might want to grab some water bottles there really quickly as well. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that might be a solid idea, but I'm so really happy that we got that C4 out of that red crate. That is super dope. Uh, all right, so speaking on the super dope side of things, let's go to our inbox. We should have that bottled water awaiting us nice and kindly. Let's grab those baked beans as well while we're at it and make sure that we re-up that way. I want to save the turkey for, you know, something slightly more special. Let's get rid of that jazz right there. Hydrate on up a little bit. Get rid of that, and we have this AK to help us clear out the path as we try and make our way over to where the going will get a little bit rough in the form of this fast biter. Help me out, doggo. Help me out, doggo. We got plenty of photo bloaters that we gotta try and take out. And at least with the doggo helping me, should be going a little bit smoother. Bless up, baby. Bless up. And they should be dropping the goodies. Only a dog tag out of him, unfortunately, but still. Hopefully this AK is enough to get us to the blind one because I'm trying to use these four shotguns on the blind one. Why do I have four shotguns? Oh, just you wait, boys and girls. Uh, hopefully I can keep the SWAT armor in good shape too. I am a little bit concerned about that one. Hopefully my doggo is ready to help me out a little bit too. Uh, we do have this exploder over here. I kind of... Uh, uh, why don't we use up one of these shotguns to just kind of make our lives a little bit easier here as we try and oh, flee from this guy. Run, 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 run. Don't want to deal with you right now, Mr. Exploder. Go, go, go boom somewhere else, okay? Don't go booming on me. And then I can hopefully shot to gun rain. And that's Toxic Spitter. Speaking of shotgun rain, www.starsidemarch.com. If you guys haven't gone there yet for a little awesome something known as, uh, well, shotgun rain and other Star Snipe merch for y'all to go ahead and cop awesome sauce. I know. I no, no need to say anymore. All that we gotta do is take those guys out. Claim. Oh man, nothing that good. Hey, there we go. All right, military notebook. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're gonna be getting a lot of this stuff out of the blind one too. Once you guys check this out, this is gonna be freaking cool if we manage to get it to work. And uh, when, as I am, blah, blah, English is hard. As I am showing this off, just a quick reminder: make sure to try and capitalize on this as soon as your boys and girls. Can, ooh, we might want to take out this uh, turret on the list. Make sure to try and capitalize on this absolutely as soon as possible because this was a hundred percent it's not meant to be like this okay kafir is probably gonna try and patch this out as soon as they can so just heads up to you guys 
capitalize on this as quickly as you can if you do have the proper materials to do so. And hello, personal effects. I fancy seeing you here. Hello, five minigun parts. God, what a nice little bonus. Didn't even come here expecting it. Doesn't matter, baby. We getting it. All right, dog, help me take out the stock inspector. He's only got one shot off on us. This AK is definitely uh, it's going to be going bad soon. Oh, can I not reach him? Really? I thought for sure this thing had the range to reach him. Hmm. I suppose I was mistaken. Let's go and equip this shotgun, right? Oh, hold on. I think we got to loot this guy on the lickety split, too. Yeah, dude, that body's trying to hide on those cinder blicks. Just cinder blicks. <laughs> cinder blocks. Just like, don't find the military notebook. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to find it, baby. Just like, I'm going to find some pain and destruction upon the toxic spitters that dare oppose shotgun rain. Jesus Christ. That was the that, okay, okay, by far and away. I sometimes oh no no let's let's oh he aggroed us. He aggroed us. Uh okay. I don't want to deal with that frenzy giant. Uh, I wasn't uh okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We gotta leave this floor really quickly. We haven't shot that frenzy giant yet, so if we leave and come back, he won't be aggroed on us. Definitely don't want to deal with the frenzy giant trying to kill us right now. <laughs> I mean we could take him down, but like I said, I'm trying to save the shotgun durability for the blind one and the shenanigans we're gonna be doing with this. But I'd also love to hear in the comment section if you guys maybe want another idea for something to comment for that entry into the giveaway. Which I'm gonna call. Uh if you guys have actually done this little trick before, and if not, uh, if you plan on doing it, what your thoughts are on it, and of course, hopefully you guys do manage to get it in a little bit because it can be if you have the proper weapons for it, this could literally get you honestly multiple as many floppy disks as you want that's how crazy this glitch is and that's why hopefully we can kill the blind one a couple of times here and just get a nice little uh little stockpile couple of times star what do you mean well i, I don't want to spoil everything i want to get over to the blind one and kind of start talking about it but long story short here is what is going to happen Hopefully after we load into this floor. Hello? Floor? There we go. Okay. No, the friends. Dang, really? He's still coming after us? Just because he aggroed? Rough, man. We're gonna have to deal with this uh, frenzy giant really quickly. That's alright. We can just play some Ring Around the Rosie. Shouldn't be too bad. We're doing a total of 43 damage to him. As long dude, my game has been running so good. As soon as there's a frenzy giant involved, my game just like, oh, let's let's troll star. Let's get him nice and uh, <laughs> nice and dead. No thank you, game. Please do not kill. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was the dog. I thought that was the frenzy giant because I had to scratch my eye. My vision was slightly impaired. Okay, he's starting to run at us a little bit fuller speed. Not a fan of this. Let's get some separation. Boop. No, missed that one. Boop. Shotgun rain to you. Dog, can you get that hit so I can get the shotgun raiding? It's a finish him. Three military notebooks coming our way. We already probably have enough for this floppy disk. But like I said, I really do want to show off this blind one thing. So here is the gist of it. Here is what you guys are going to want to do. Bring as many weapons as you can. Bring enough medical supplies for this. Because it's obviously not going to be it's the easiest thing in the world. But here is what you're going to be able to do. The blind one, for some reason, whenever he gets killed by a dog, so you do need the true friend dog as well, or the, yeah, you need the love. Jesus, dude, English has been so hard. School's really getting to my brain cells, man. Uh, what you, you are going to need a true friend dog, unfortunately, but if and when you do have that, you do have the ability to infinitely kill the blind one. And in this really odd odd glitch that you guys were telling me about seriously shouts out to you guys for explaining how to do it in the comment section y'all are freaking dope for that one baby but let's just make sure that we got a good amount of armor good amount of everything and all right let's enter the arena and you are probably going to want some dog treats because your dog can definitely get tired uh after well after attacking this guy for long enough and he will probably end up attacking the blind one a solid amount so blind one how do you do there big guy yeah as you can see he's gonna be trying to get these hits in on him when really he's barely even gonna be doing any additional damage but uh there we go oh he got the hit off on us whoa, 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 whoa. Flee the hell out of there! Get some shotgun rain! Start shotgun raining all over this dude's brain! The dog's gonna help us out a little bit. Oh! Nice! We got that last one off there. Last second. Very good. But as long as our armor stays intact, we should be Gucci McSwaggins. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't have an animation for uh, his last hit there. But, ooh, Let's start getting the shotgun rain off a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, we did not do enough there. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit. Because I do need to cut him off at 700 HP with the alarm, so I'm gonna let him wail a little bit. Oh, the dog is starting to get tired. Unfortunate, but hey, it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna do something about that. No worries, boys. 
Not right now. Maybe a little bit later. Okay, okay. He's gonna start eating. Cut him off! No food for you, big guy. I apologize. Let's make sure that he keeps on hitting on this thing. But yeah, so the dog, yeah, he needs a treat. That means he's gonna stop attacking until he does get that treat. That shouldn't be too big of a deal, though. We're not gonna give him that treat until later because it, we don't really need him right now. We're gonna need him in a bit. Don't get me wrong, but he's, he's barely doing any damage to the blind one. At the end of the day, the shotgun rain is our savior. I don't know why the blind one does that really weird glitch where, uh, whatchamacall, yeah, for some really weird reason, he just, uh, does not have an animation for his last hit. Oh, man. Oh, oh, no, he heals at 400? No! I haven't done the blind one in forever. I thought it was less than that. Let's hit... Ah, oh, that's rough, dude. Yeah, as you guys can tell, we have not done the blind one in a little bit of a minute. I thought for some weird reason it was 300. Spoiler alert, it's not 300. Let's definitely not get hit by that puppy there. But that's unfortunate. That is going to take a couple more shotgun waves from us. Luckily, we should be able to do plenty of damage to him still. We can do 150 per volley, and I mean, that's already enough for him to uh, hopefully lighten and ease up off us a little bit. Ooh, let's get the hell out of there. Dang, dude, that is gonna take a little bit more durability out of our shotgun. Very unfortunate, but we will survive. Yeah, blind one, get your freaking hits in on me, big guy. But anyways, once he does start getting a little bit lower, that is when the crucial time will begin. For now, again, the dog's just chilling. The dog's just doing his thing. He's getting some much needed rest. It's been a busy day, busy cup. Oh, yeah, definitely tried a little, a little too hard there to get some. Uh, I don't even know what I tried getting there. But what should we call? You know what I mean. I got a little bit greedy with the shotgun rain. Dang, dude. He definitely would have been low enough. But honestly, okay. So that's not good. Let's switch on over to a full quality shotgun. Let's not waste too much of this. It's it's just not worth wasting on that. Although our armor is going to break soon, which is very, very worrying. Hopefully it doesn't break before we get the opportunity to bring him all the way down to how low we need him to go. How low can you go? Can you go down low? All the way to the float. Uh, yeah, so just keep an eye on our armor. Make sure it doesn't break anytime soon. Honestly, two more volleys, and he should be within that range where we want to activate the dog treat. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're going to do this one more time and then activate the dog treat. And then you guys should see exactly what I'm talking about. There we go. Heal up a little bit. We really want to get him nice and low. Honestly, literally as low as can physically be. There we go. Let's get one more. Okay, now he's going to start wailing on us a little bit more. We're going to let him charge into the wall right here. Then we're going to activate the dog treat. Owie. Oh, there we go. Okay, and this is the part where we want to... Oh, we want to eat the dog treat. We want our dog going back to be an active dog. Let's go ahead and start putting in a little bit of work. He's going to get a couple more hits on us. No biggie. We'll be fine. Okay, all that we need to worry about right now is not dying. And the fact that our dog is about to get the finishing blow on the blind one. And as soon as he does, look at that. A brand new blind one literally spawns in. So I'm going to go ahead and leave here for a sec because he, the new blind one has already spawned in. We don't need to worry about that. The dead body is already over there. But that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can get infinite loot from the blind one. As long as the dog does the finishing blow, at least for now, what will happen is that the blind one will respawn. If he does not respawn, what you can do is leave the floor, come back, and he should actually respawn. So that's kind of like a glitch in the glitch. It's kind of like glitchception. <laughs> but uh, as you guys can see, we do need to go ahead and take this guy down again. I do need some SWAT armor, though, because no way am I doing it with this type of jazz. We definitely have enough shock and rain to get us through, and we are not going to try and get him to respawn this time, but we definitely have to kill him because he is also protecting his, uh, well, other but self who's dead over there. So uh, I'm going to go and grab some SWAT armor really quickly, and then we shall return and we will bring him down yet again. And all right, guys and gals, here is the situation at hand. As you guys can see from our inventory, we got still a little bit of shotgun rain to play with. Let's just go ahead and equip the full shotgun rain just for safety reasons. A stack of a first aid and, uh, well, a dream and a well-rested dog. We are not going to use more dog treats, though, because, again, we do not want him to respawn this time because, well, I, I, I just want to go and get that freaking floppy disk. So he's going to begin that charge because he was already a couple hits deep in us and this is when we must begin our shotgun rain onslaught there we do that was really nice we got a good amount of hits off on him there 
He is doing a lot of damage to us. He's actually doing 19 per hit, as you guys can tell, because we did have to put on some military armor. Did not have any SWAT armor uh, with an easy access. As a quick little heads up there. Let's get one more shot off on him. He's going to get a couple more off on us. Let's just make sure that we're healing at proper times here and playing it safe. Honestly, I'm just going to full heal right there. Let's get the hell out of Dodge, and let's do as much damage as we can. Let's remember that it's 400 damage that gets him to do his little thing. So he's going to go and get to eating. Oh! You only get 10 health, big boy. I'm sorry. Hopefully we can kill him over by this guy, too. But you can see our dog is going absolutely ham and bonkers. He's going to ham and cheese like a ham omelet on this guy. And uh, he will get exhausted, unfortunately for us. But all should be Gucci. McSwaggins, he's going to get a couple more hits off. Yeah, rip to the dog. R.I.P. Well, he will come back. We'll, we'll give him a treat later. No worries, but let's definitely make sure that the blind one does that. Let's get a couple of uh, a goodbye presents over to him. And then let's make sure that we get our way over here so we can cut him off in time before he heals too much. I was just playing it safe. Just playing a little bit safe. Especially because last time we, well, it, the, the safety mechanisms did not work in our favor. <laughs> uh, he's gonna get one more hit off on us. I have no clue why there's that weird glitch though, where his last hit just does not work. I like how our dog's just chilling in the way too, but this should be, honestly, maybe? I, I'm trying to think two more volleys if we're lucky. I think two more volleys. A volley, of course, being each time he charges, hits us five times, etc. There we go. We get these shots off absolutely instantly. Should be able to get a fifth, maybe. Oh, no, that was definitely cutting it close. But let's definitely give him one more right there. And then this should be able to give him a nice little finishing blow. Let's hope that our game doesn't screw us over at the last second. And that is going to be a goodbye to the blind one. Number two. And our shotgun broke just in time right there but look at that multiple blind ones dying multiple blind ones worth of loot which also means that we're gonna be getting more red tickets as well every time you kill the blind one you're guaranteed 10 red tickets three of these three of these three of these a very nice haul and usually what it takes as you guys can see if you're playing it safe you need a little bit better than military armor, as you guys can see. We just have the swap boots, and that was enough for him to only do 19 damage. Once he starts doing 20 damage, it gets weird because... If he's doing 19 damage, he does 5 hits per volley. He will never kill you in one volley if you're at full health. However, if it's a 20, he can definitely kill you. That's where it starts getting stressful, and your medkit use does get a little bit weird. So, let's just say here you guys can see the amount of durability he knocked off on this. About a fourth of our armor. It took us a shotgun and took us 10 medkits. So a shotgun, 10 medkits, full armor, and a dog is all that you are going to need to make this happen. I like how I make that seem super easy. Like, oh, this, this, this you know, this shotgun's reasonable. We got, we got the military art. There's a true friend dog. Don't, don't even worry about that. <laughs> but uh, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's not quit the game. What is you doing, bubba? Um, why don't we go ahead and get this dog treat up and used so pupper it comes with us. And let's go and claim our prize and hopefully head on over to the floppy disk coordinates and uh, claim whatever lies there. Whether that be an infected box or potentially even something else. And ooh, we gotta pee. Excuse it. Wow, some of you guys ask, like, Star, why are you still a girl? Well, I don't know. I was a guy for, like, I probably, dude, 10 months long. I was a guy for a long time and last day on earth. And I don't know. I just like to mix it up and that uh, she squats when she pees. You know, it's it's just game changing. It's so, so different. You know, my last day on earth experience just totally changed once I found this out. But dude, this glitch is freaking awesome. And hopefully I am able to help out some of you guys. I know it's a very selective glitch because you do need the true friend pup. But uh, the usage of it can net you some really, really good stuff with uh, as many floppy disks as you can realistically get. The only bottleneck is going to be the amount of shotguns you have, the amount of armor you have. And the amount of medkits you have no longer will time and be a bottleneck where you have to wait two days to kill the blind one. And each time you want to kill him, you do have to clear out part of the third floor here. Clear out part of the third floor once and then go as ham as you can, boys. 
and girls. All right, but with everything taken, with everything considered, let's take some of the goodies on up out of here. Let's equip that very nice SWAT armor that we got right there. And we got a silenced AK to boot. So that's going to come in very, very handy. And I will probably end up coming back for some of, you know, I don't need those two green tickets. We got hella green tickets back at home. Let's grab what we can. Uh, can we stock these? We can stockpile them a little bit. Definitely not as much as I was hoping for, but we will be clearing out a little bit of inventory room here when we do uh, hand over some of our necessities. And we might need to make a quick pit stop back at home uh, unless, because we do need, to, well, first things first, we gotta actually get it from this guy. Uh, there you go. Is that enough? Nah, almost enough for a floppy. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough for a floppy. And nine notebooks, and we're already a third of the way to another one. It looks like, honestly, I'd say every like five to six blind ones, that should be enough to get you a floppy disk right then and right there if you do have this reputation if you're not at 50 reputation though perfect way of advancing through the rewards list getting floppies along the way and also unlocking a couple of those guaranteed puppies too but with this floppy disk in our possession let's connect it upload the data and find out whatever we can from this coordinates and not get attacked by that fast spider not trying to have that happen, but dude, this is so freaking awesome. And again, thank you guys. So why I love y'all in the comment section. Why I love reading comments, not just for the funny jokes, not just for the funny memes, not just for the fan freaking tasticness, but the fact that you guys are always dropping these bomb suggestions, bomb ideas, whether that be about stuff I'm talking about, whether that be just stuff I should do in the future. You guys are always on point with that. And for that, bless up to each and every single one of you. But right now, I need one single thing from you. One thing that I must ask. It involves Chrisin. It involves Crossin. It involves the apple saucin. Saucin like our names James Harden or something like that. If you watch NBA, you'll understand. If not, uh, saucin like uh, uh, Chef Boy RD. How's about that? Does that work? Is that good enough? I hope so. But uh, with the sauce taken into account of the apple variety and the Chris Crossin and that type of jazz, sit in that position. Cross your fingers, cross your eyes, cross everything that you got. Because we need some really good luck right now. For hopefully, I mean, a grenade launcher would be pretty dope. Not gonna lie. And ooh, this is right on the way. But yeah, so very successful day today. And hopefully, we can actually do a little bit more of that blind one thing potentially tomorrow. Uh, we are gonna do that revenge raid next episode, though, just because today we've already been going on for a good amount of time. And I don't wanna have to, like, I don't just wanna, like, be in the middle of the raid and then be like, oh, I gotta go because I kinda do need to go relatively soon but i'm really trying out my best to get this to you guys before i go sprint and work with my group on a project that's due in about uh what is that a freckle pass and arm hair <laughs> sorry i don't have a watch on my wrist but it's it's due tonight and uh definitely cutting it close it's a little bit of a hard one I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit of a hard one <laughs> But so let's go ahead. Let's put a couple of things away. I did I'll go ahead and put the generator away that we got last time too. That was pretty nice. But let's definitely go ahead and begin storing that puppy right there. I'm going to put a couple of things back into safety. And check this out. It's looking like we finally acquired enough turret parts to create our... Ooh, actually, we need to make two more turrets. So we do have enough turret parts here to make another turret. And we should have enough heat sensors to, to make that. So that's really good news. We definitely have enough miniguns, which is awesome. Because again, we're planning on uh, saying no, no, no to the Raiders. We're planning on taking a stand with active base defense. It is possible to actively defend your base against the Raiders. It is definitely harder, though. And the risk versus reward is definitely a whole lot riskier. But... They can also drop some very juicy loot. So we're gonna need as many turrets as we can. So hopefully help us out during that. But let us go and head on over to this floppy disc coordinates and maybe make a quick pit stop by the oak clearing to depend. I, I, I do wanna go just on the off chance. It is one of the Tom oak clearing events because I have never encountered Tom in one of those things. And honestly, I just love to like go and see him and just be like, hey Tom. I don't, buddy. I have been since the smuggling. It'll be like, oh, you know, just, just doing things. Oh, that reminds me. We do know the name of Tom. He was over in the smugglers camp. Did the guys at the shipwreck, for those of you that have been playing last day or even watching the channel for a while, the guys at the shipwreck, did they ever 
have a name? Or was there just kind of like Captain, just generic stuff that we never learned? I'm, mm, I'm actually not entirely sure. And, huh. I wonder, hopefully though, dude, I wish that shipwreck was still happening, man. It was definitely an interesting event. I just, I just hate whenever they take the time to make an event, develop the stuff for the event, like developing a freaking like, which like a freaking giant crashed ship that could have been so cool, could even improved on the event, changed it up a little bit, but then they're like, nah, we're taking it out. Like, if they don't like the balance, I understand that. That's respectable, but come on. At least switch things up a little bit. Temporary events are the worst. Like, holiday events? Okay, that's understandable. It's holiday specific. But how are you going to make a temporary event that doesn't have, like, holiday connotations to it? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, bah humbug. Bah humbug to you there, fast biter. Me and a dog are the ones who punch, baby. Oh, I could go for some fruit punch, too. Get out of here, dear. I can't go for you. I can't however go. Come on, one more hit so I can finish him. Doggo, doggo, please. Just, just one more hit here. One, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, there you go. Jacob Ray, Jesus! Shot that man straight off his legs. <laughs> Dude, that's why the shotgun's so amazing. And why shotgun range is just the greatest thing ever invented. Oh, we got another one coming. But uh, long story short, there is no other gun in last day on earth that will do the magic that this does. Where it just blows people, just, just, just blows their heads off, man. It's freaking nutty stuff. Even in like seven days to die. I am trying to get a seven days to die video out too. I know that I haven't posted one in a couple of days. Apologies. Schedule's been super hectic. Like I said, this upcoming week, mad stress. And uh, okay, so this is going to be the type that we got to loot. But so even the shotgun in that game, dude, there's a reason I rep shotgun rain hardcore. Uh, shotgun rain's kind of amazing. Spoiler alert. Oh my God. Poor deer getting attacked. Yes. Not so poor me getting a scar engine part two. We got a mini gun too. Let's go. Yo, this is looking dope. Two copper bars, three steel plates. Bruh. Now just imagine you keep on killing blind ones. You keep on getting floppy discs like this. You're walking out of here a happy freaking camper. I tell you what, boys. Oh my God. Talk about dope. And you get the medkits and weapons that you can then just soak right back into killing the blind one. It's a crazy cycle that can literally lead to infinite loot. Because I mean, okay, we did only get like six or whatever, right? But I mean, we're also getting red ticket crates, uh, not, or red tickets for the red ticket crates. And then we can use those red tickets to open up red crates, which will also have C4, just like this can have. And then not only that, what's the other thing that can happen? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. My mind here is totally blank, like a piece of paper that I'm gonna be writing on in about 30 minutes as I do my homework. Um, train of thought derailed. Uh, we, we gotta default to something. Electronics! You'll need these components when assembling electrical devices. Hey! Uh, let's head over to the old clearing and see what's going on there. Ooh, we're gonna have to do a quick little drive, aren't we? But, oh, train of thought re-railed. We've been re-railed! Uh, what should we call it? Yeah, when it comes down to it, though, you just, like, keep, it's like, you get loot that you can then sink back into the blind one, but that's not all the loot you get. You get loot that you don't have to sink back into the blind one, that you can then sink into your own adventures, like, for example, the C4, which we can also get from red ticket crates, not to mention all of the guns and the medical supplies and the armor that you get from those as well. It's a crazy cycle, but it is one that 100% can pay for itself and not just pay for itself, profit. Oh, have a very very nice profit for itself to boots but uh, the finale of today the oak clearing and seeing what it may contain will we have tom to say hello to his mythical little bum little booty or will just be another generic hey here's some tents kill people i, I listen I don't mind killing people on the last day, but I want to say hi to Tom, man. I ain't seen that homie in forever. I don't think we're saying hello to Tom today. Let's take out this float and blow to real quickly. Dog, uh, you know, I'm just not even going to wait. I got a shotgun rain that dude's face straight off. Looks like there's some chopped down stuff. Uh, ooh, this looks like it is. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, with these guys. Oh, my God, dude. Look at how fast that guy moves. That guy's sprinting. Not even moving. This is I really like this old clearing event, though. Not a lot of people talk about it, but uh, honestly, it is 100%, if you do it right, a stealth event where you can literally, you don't even have to kill these guys. You can just straight up steal their stuff from right under their little noses, and they'll never know a thing. 
Unfortunately, that's not the way I like to roll. I like to roll with shotgun rain, baby. Shotgun rain, dog. I hope you help out here too, because oh, things are going loud. Game, don't lag on me now. Don't do it right now. It was because of my wife. Oh, shotgun rain, do you? Oh, we're getting hungry and stuff too. Oh, oh, mama, oh, mama, getting surrounded. Oh, I hope I have enough shotgun rain for these guys. Oh, this is getting stressful. Where's the one guy we already did some damage to? That's who I'm trying to like, focus fire on, doggo. I need your help here too, buddy. Can you take out one of these guys, please? Okay, shotgun rain to him. Taking some damage. Oh, shotgun rain to you. And our weapon has broken. Ay, 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 ay. This no bueno. This no bueno. Oh, let's equip one of these and then do the finishing blows on this guy. Right over there. Thank you for the loot. Kindly. All right, never mind. Totally garbage loot. That's why, again, if you guys do find this oak clearing event, 100%, I recommend not even killing these guys. It's not worth it. Try and do this event stealthfully. The things you get out of it are way more worth it because there's the one guy who like chills in the middle then two dudes who kind of like patrol but within these are where you can actually get the good stuff oh yeah the good stuff not this one one of them does have 10 oak logs though which is probably the reason i'm guessing you guys are coming to the oak clearing event in the first place since it is one of the best ways to get oak logs outside of the northern zones Seriously, bless up that they have this. I know some people aren't huge fans of it, but dude, even I love it and appreciate it. Like, if I didn't have the chopper, every time this would be popping up, 100%, I would be not focusing on it, but 100%, I'd be like, all right, let's set aside some energy. Let's go there, especially because the cooldown timer on it, like, it's around for like an hour, hour and a half. Like, this thing, it's not like, oh, here's an airdrop for eight minutes. It's like, hey, you have an hour and a half to get here. Like, you can realistically walk here. It's like guaranteed oak, pretty much, especially if you go and chop these down. That's enough for like six to seven oak planks. Very nice progress for some very nice level three walls, if you so choose. But that's going to go and wrap up for this episode of Last Day on Earth of Survival. Best of luck to you guys going to the chopper. Get, not going to the chopper, but going to the bunker. Get in the chopper gas tank and join in the chopper squad. Best of luck with your own raids, your own case openings over in the bunker, your own blind wood killing, your own base defense, your own dog breeding, your own multiplayer adventure, and making your way towards the end, most importantly of all. Best of luck, and I'd ask for your favorite fantastic day inside and outside of last day. But that's what you're going to do for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. nothing but the most fantastic day in the world. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.